Now we're gonna box the Mamotion Luba Mini AWD. As you probably know, I renovated this house in Catalonia. And with the house comes a garden. Now, my wife loves doing the garden and she's working hard to make something very beautiful, but it appears to be my job to cut the grass. Call me a bit of a wellness guru hippie type, but I don't really like strapping like a petrol engine to me, which churns out a lot of pollutants, far more than a car would for the petrol that's burned, right by my face, uh, and streaming a couple hours every week. So the ideal situation in my mind would be like a robot lawnmower. However, when you look at a lot of robot lawnmowers, they really look like they're made for, you know, the perfect American suburban flat lawn only grass. And that's not this garden. Firstly, this garden is made up of five interconnecting terraces. So if a robot lawnmower is gonna do this job, it's not like one big square it's gotta do, but it's gotta be able to connect all these different levels through a slightly intricate design. In our garden, we have piles of compost. There's like an, like an old door here, leftover crap from construction. Other stuff, it needs to work its way around. And it's not exactly a lawn. It's not like a perfect grass lawn. It's like mostly weeds and stuff. We've got all sorts of weird shapes. We've got the rocks in the garden and it's changing angle like all the time. So as we come down here, we've got like some pretty steep slopes. We've got some rocks it needs to navigate. In all, it's topographically quite a complex garden. So I'm gonna be really impressed if this mower does a good job. So begin with, it comes with a quick start guide, power pack adapter, accessory kit. It has the 3D vision module. There's a little bit of setup, but it looks quite easy. Manual, we have the RTX reference station, the RTX reference station pole a little brush, and the robot itself. It's quite heavy actually, which is not surprising because it is a lawnmower. And at the bottom of it all, we have the charging station. So now we're gonna install the vision module. This is the RTK antenna, which increases GPS accuracy. So we're in baking hot sun a lot of the years, so it's good to have a bit of a cover, I think, to protect the plastic parts on it. So this is a standard, standard cover for the unit. Now I'm connecting it to the Wi-Fi and we'll start to map the garden. You can map the garden automatically, but with the big drops and you know, just the weirdness, I wanted to map it manually to be sure. It's quite easy to do just using the phone as a remote control. The result is a super accurate map of different garden areas that it will mow on demand. Once an area is completed, you're ready to go. <laughs> Let's do it. I was not exactly sure what to expect. So the best thing was to sit back and watch it as it went about its work. The first cut now, it's a bit weedy and quite dense, so it's probably be not really the best for it, but it's actually doing quite good work. I've put the blade high because I'm a bit worried about stones I've missed, and it's just going back and forwards, and it's quite smart. What I'd notice is that when it hits like more resistance, it actually slows down to actually do the cut. Cutting blade's about that big, so it's kind of a thin path, but it sort of doesn't matter how long it takes, because when it gets tired, it will just go and recharge and then come back to work. So here it's quite thick, see it's slowed down, taking its sweet time. There's quite woody weeds here. It's, um, it's probably a bit rough for it, but once it's done its first cut, it should be fine. After a while, I realized you can cut closer to the ground. So I changed it on the app to 35 millimeters, not 55.
So we can see that 13% has been made. It's doing it in the stripe pattern and it has 121 minutes left to go. I think one thing which is quite interesting about this machine is as you can hear, it's really quiet. Like it's most noisy when it's going over the woody weeds, which won't exist anymore because it's going to be cut in every three days. And to be honest, I was a bit skeptical whether it could cope with what I was going to throw at it. But so far, it's doing quite good. It might actually work. So it's also got this technology, so if your dog or your pet or your child's in the way, it should notice you and then go around. It's a bit mean getting in the way of its work. Back to work. As you can see, the trimming bit is about a hand's width, but it's come through here really nicely. And this is quite thick, it's been overgrown for a while. Um, pretty cool. So let's have a look at what it's done at the lawnier part of our lawn. Um, and I think as you can see, it's done quite a good job. It's pretty, pretty nicely cut. I could do a raking up a little bit. It was quite high here. It's about this high. If we look at the older pictures of me here, um, you'll see that it's like, you know, it's done a good job. I'm actually really impressed. And here it's quite bumpy. There's a lot of rock. So if we look at the edges, Obviously, it can't cut too close to the edge because we've got these really irregular features and we don't have like a cutout dip. But what this means is in about like 10 minutes, I can just border strim the whole garden with a strimmer. It's not a two hour job now, it's a 10 minute job. That's pretty cool. Before I give you my verdict for this mower, for a mountain, complex, messy garden like ours, um, I'll just go through the key features. Um, probably the main feature of this is it's kind of got this four-wheel drive, uh, unmatched, will go over anything, and with my garden, that's literally what you need. Um, and that, I think, has been one of the most impressive things. It's only slid where it's just like dirt, like raw dirt, no plants, just dust. But other than that, it's handled things um, kind of quite impressively well. The other thing which is quite impressive with this mower is this Ultrasense II powered RTK based um, vision system. So if it's coming up to things, it stops, it will avoid them. It's just really smart. Another cool thing about this mower is it will mow in lines. So it's not just randomly turning. Once this gets configured, it will start doing lines in your lawn. So it looks really tidy. So the mower itself, um, as you can see, it has six blades underneath. Now these blades, it's a loose and some spare ones come with the mower. Um, and the idea that they're loose is they spin very high speed. Uh, and it cuts things really well. But if you do hit a stone or something, it doesn't break the bl blade uh, immediately. Yeah, it was only half charged when it arrived. So it did part of the lawn and then it went back to charge. And when you send it back to work, it just goes back to exactly the same place where it left off to carry on and finish a job. I think that's quite cool. Other than that, the battery itself should last for about 180 minutes, which is a pretty decent amount of time. I think this lawn had a one hour, 20 minute cut in. Um, so I've got two areas. So I imagine it probably will do almost all of it with one battery, I guess depending, which is quite cool, but it doesn't really matter because all it will do, it will go back to its charging station, it will charge and then it'll go out again. So whether or not it will do it all in one battery is sort of irrelevant. Um, and this unit is designed in terms of square meters. It would do 1,500 square meters, which is probably about the same as our garden. But again, it's really hard to calculate uh, because it's on all these little patches on different terraces. Obviously, this is not a cheap lawnmower and you've got it sitting in your garden. Uh, so it's obviously potentially a target for theft. I don't think where I'm living, it's you know a risk, but in other places, obviously it could be. Uh, and it's got a bunch of security methods to stop people stealing it, or if they do, so it's got a geofence thing. So if it removes from the geofence, then it will send an alert to you. Um, it's got like GPS tracking and a bunch of other things um, to help prevent it being a, a target for theft, or if it is stolen, recovery. So verdict time. Um, I think it's pretty good. I think if you don't want to mow your lawn, and you've got quite a big lawn area, uh, this is 
pretty damn amazing. I'm really surprised that it could cut, like considering how irregular and junky and bits of door and random stuff and complex our garden is and hilly and lumpy. And I'm really, really surprised that it's done as well as it did. And it went through the weeds, like quite woody weeds, which I didn't bother streaming because I wanted to test this unit properly. So I think if you've got a garden, you don't want to mow it. I, I think my garden is probably the best test because it's complex, it's a mess, it's not manicured, it's not, you know, American suburb, perfect flat lawn. It's chaos out there and this thing has done a really good job.